Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sandra Garcia, and I am proud to serve as principal at Memorial Middle School. It is my honor to welcome you to LISD's Memorial Day ceremony hosted by the LISD Board of Trustees. This has been a great year at Memorial Middle. We have students who have perfect scores on their STAR exams, our award-winning band earned a first division and sweepstakes at recent competitions. One of our students was a grand champion at the Laredo International Fair and Exposition. Our campus earned the Science Fair Middle School Grand Championship, as well as top scores in Accelerated Reader. And our athletes perform, performed well on the field, court, and track. And now we get to close our school year with this important observance. Please know that you honor us with your presence and we will always be deeply grateful to the men and women who died while serving their country. At this time, I would like to introduce our Mistress of Ceremonies, Ms. Michelle Lopez, Assistant Principal of Memorial Middle. Good morning. It is my pleasure to serve as your mistress of ceremonies as we remember those brave soldiers of the U.S. Armed Forces who made the ultimate sacrifice for their country. At this time, I ask that you please rise for the invocation to be given today by Memorial Middle School student, Katrina Haynes. Father, Thank you for the blessed opportunity to call upon you as we give honor and respect to our military heroes who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. As your word tells us in John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, to lay one's down life for one's friend. We give praise to you in our celebration on this day as we remember our fallen soldiers, their commitment and their sacrifice. We confirm our unity and support in the foundation of our free society, which will never fall because we are one nation under God. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing for the presentation of colors by the LISD Police Department Color Guard and the, under the direction of Officer Darrell Bettis. The national anthem will be performed by the Memorial Middle School Eagle Band under the direction of Mr. Wesley Evans, the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Memorial Middle School student, Harley Begoya. Good morning. Oh, is this thing on?
May I please? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Over. Oh. Right turn. March. Thank you very much. Please be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce our dignitaries joining us this morning. Please help me welcome the Board of Trustees for the Laredo Independent School District, represented by the Honorable Rick Garza, Secretary of the Board. <laughs> Mayor for the City of Laredo, the Honorable Pete Sines. Former LISD School President, the Honorable Avran Rodriguez. The Superintendent of Schools for LISD, Dr. Marcus Nelson. Dr. Silvia Rios, Chief Academic Officer. Bobby Ramirez, Chief of Staff. Laredo Morning Times publisher, Mr. Bill Green. I ask that all the veterans joining us today, please rise and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining us on this special Friday morning. At this time, Mayor Sines would like to greet our veterans and students. Mayor. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for the invitation. This uh, place has uh, good memories for me as well. Matter of fact, I. I attended this, this place, not necessarily this building, <laughs> but the building before uh, it used to be St. Joseph's Academy uh, uh, many years ago, but now it's a, it's a fine institution. Uh, uh, Dr. N yeah, Nelson, uh, Principal, uh, uh, Board of Trustees, uh, Mr. Garza, and of course all the veterans, uh, this is your day. Uh, and it's very fitting to celebrate this day uh, because of the fallen heroes. Uh, you too could have been a fallen hero because you were exposed. Uh, you actually volunteered, or, or maybe they volunteered you uh, for the service uh, some way, somehow. But the fact is, is, is that you all served. Uh, there was a commitment. Every time I hear the words, I pledge allegiance to the flag and to uh, the, the republic, it brings memories of you in the course of fallen. The heroes. That's the ultimate price. The ultimate price for us being here, for us being to express ourselves. Uh, and some of us express ourselves uh, 
at the cost of the flag and at the cost of the fallen heroes. But this is what makes freedom of speech. This is what makes freedom, liberty, to say what we feel, although some of us may, may disagree, but this is America for us, a uh, land of liberty, uh, you know, even to uh, the extremes. Uh, but we're here to celebrate the people that have actually given their lives. Uh, and on behalf of the city, on behalf of my office, uh, I sincerely appreciate that. This is truly a memorial day. We should never forget. Never forget the ultimate sacrifice. God bless you all. God bless America. God bless Laredo. Thank you, Mayor. This morning, we do have a very special guest with us who will be addressing you, General Alfredo Valenzuela. General Alfredo Valenzuela served 33 years in the U.S. Army and was highly decorated for his heroism and valor. He served in three combat corps and six infantry divisions all over the world, including Peru, Korea, Colombia, Turkey, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Kuwait, Grenada, Panama, Germany, El Salvador, and Somalia, as well as numerous years in interagency assignments. He commanded in the Cold War and Gulf War eras and was awarded the highest peacetime awards upon retirement, the Defense and Army Distinguished Service Medals. He sits on numerous nonprofit boards, is an Eagle Scout, and has been inducted into the Boys and Girls Club Hall of Fame and named Distinguished Alumni at St. Mary's University, not to mention named one of the most influential Hispanics by the U.S. Hispanic Business Magazine. He and his family published No Greater Love, The Lives and Times of Hispanic Soldiers, with all the proceeds going to the families of the 21 soldiers he buried from the Iraq-Afghanistan wars. He was appointed by the President of the U.S. to the World War I Centennial Commission. General Valenzuela and his wife, Esther, have two children, and four grandchildren. Please give a Laredo welcome to General Alfredo Valenzuela. Thank you so much. If you don't mind, I'm not gonna stand behind the podium. I'm, I'm not overweight, I'm under tall. And if I stood behind there, you wouldn't be able to see me. So what I'm gonna do is stand out here, uh, if you don't mind. Uh, Mayor, uh, Board of Trustee, Rick, uh, Dr. Nelson, uh, all the uh, educators, God bless you, and to all my fellow veterans, and of course, the future of our great country, uh, the students. Uh, what a pleasure and an honor for me uh, to be asked uh, for my wife and I to come down and give you a few words of what I call uh, words of wisdom. And uh, it is, on Monday, a very, very solemn, sobering, uh, day for a lot of us, uh, particularly to those who have uh, been there, done that, and got that t-shirt. And what I mean by that is, for those of us who've been in combat, who've been in war, uh, having to bury a fellow soldier is, is not uh, not a easy task, if you will. Having said that, let me give you a little trivia, a little, some factoids, and then I'll go into what I believe is, is the words of wisdom and the message of the day. Uh, May 5th, 1868, um, there was a decision made right after the Civil War uh, to bury the Union and the Confederate soldiers and to have what we call Decoration Day. Decoration Day would be that they would go regardless whether you were in the Union or Confederacy, whether you were Republican or Democrat, whether you were from the North or the South, and to decorate those fallen heroes of the Civil War. Probably what we lost hundreds of thousands of soldiers uh, in war against each other. Having said that, uh, war is at the intersection of happenstance and hell. And unless you've been there and understood that, it's very difficult to comprehend our fallen heroes and, what the, and the sacrifice for which they went through. 
that sacrifice, and if I told you from a factoid perspective, we have more veterans buried overseas than we probably have in the United States. Now you think about that. We have 25 cemeteries under what we call the American Battlefield Monuments Commission, and those 25 cemeteries have all our war dead, starting with World War I, World War II, uh, and so forth. In France alone, we have 14. Six to World War II, and eight to World War I. So we have left a lot of our fallen brethren overseas. And when General Jack Pershing came back from uh, World War I, he said, hey, we are not gonna forget these folks. So if you ever get a chance and you go to one of these cemeteries, and oh, by the way, they're in Tunisia, uh, London, Luxembourg, Philippines, Panama, Grenada, France, Luxembourg, and Belgium. And those are just a few. And you have rows and rows and rows of white crosses and gravestones that indicate that the men and women of this country who have died have been remembered. And then of course you have the missing in action and those that we never accounted for. And so if you add the numbers together, you can see that most of our fallen brethren overseas almost outnumber those buried in the States. And so I really salute the veterans that are here because they have been there. But not only they, but their families and the sacrifice of serving is really absolutely uh, unbelievable and attributed to the patriotism that these folks have. A lot of us, uh, in some cases, were drafted. Uh, most of us volunteered. Um, some of us went before the judge, and the judge made a decision for us and said you would go to the army or go to jail. But nevertheless, regardless of how you came in, you volunteered, you came in, you were drafted, and you served your country. You answered the call to duty, and that's the critical part. But if you ever get a chance and can really sense those of us who have been there, it's really something unique because it might have been our chosen profession in one way or another, but it's not about being Republican or independent, correction, Republican or Democrat, it's about being independent. You serve your country, you serve your president, and you serve those leaders who give you the orders that you, that you follow. And in most cases, it's for the good of this country. I wrote a book, I think it was mentioned, it's called No Greater Love, uh, as was mentioned in the prayer. Uh, John 15, 13 said that there is no greater love than one who gives his life for that of another. Uh, that is a true statement. And John uh, called it right. He really did. But every day for me, and every day probably for those veterans here today, is Memorial Day. And it just brings tears to one eyes, particularly me, because again, every day is Memorial Day. And it's tough to remember and to go back in time and to remember those who sacrificed and gave their life for this country. Today, many folks were on the road. I think uh, this morning you had 65.9 million were gonna be traveling. So today, in a lot of people's eyes, is about going shopping, going on a trip. It's the first day of the summer, basically. And it's about celebration, barbecues, and, and so forth. You know, we really have to pause and reflect on this great country. We're the most powerful country in the world. We've shown that over and over again, unfortunately, at the cost of life. Uh, so really, the valor, the valiant, they sleep today. They sleep, until, and Monday we honor them, and I ask your indulgence to pause and reflect, because also today we have men and women who are in, in the line of combat and arms way, be it uh, Yemen, Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan. And so they're not gonna be with their families today, nor tomorrow, nor Monday, and probably not for Thanksgiving or Christmas. So I'd ask you to pause and reflect and say a prayer for them as well. So let me just uh, shift gears, if you will, for just a moment, and let me talk to the students. Um, if I had a, a word in my vernacular that means a lot to me is, is education. Uh, a lot of us here may not have had the opportunity that I think you have, and that's to pursue an education, to have folks who are dedicated to educate you, to make sure that our future country exists by you and for you. And so we beg of you to take advantage of the education that these teachers and that your parents are giving you and take advantage of it porque si se puede. I mean, you can 
go on to be better in one's life just by mere fact that you got educated. I look at my wife and I, I mean, how can two poor Hispanic young kids out of the barrios of San Antonio go on to be a general officer and spouse uh, and serve this country? Tremendous honor, uh, but we hung in there and we got educated maybe uh, backwards, if you will. We went to the army and then kind of got educated, if you will. But nevertheless, the name of the game is to be educated. So I salute you, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I would just tell you, stay in school. It's the best equation that one can give you, the part of all the sums. And uh, again, we're dependent on you to be the future of this country. So once again, thank you the students. Thanks the educational folks for the job that y'all do. I salute you. And then finally to my, my fellow vets. I leave you with a parting word, and that is that um, we are very modest in our comments. We don't talk about what we do in the military. The only reason I wrote the book was for my grandchildren, to tell them that I served 33 years, 11 months, and one day, that my lovely wife traveled 24 times, went, moved 24 times, and our two children, uh, a judge and a, pro, a project manager, went to 19 schools on three different continents. I tell you that because that is my memory. It's dedicated to the soldiers that I buried. I think that was mentioned. I buried 25 total. And so I couldn't find a better way than to dedicate to those that I buried uh, than to write a book and then to try to educate their children by the proceeds of the book. So I just tell you vets, you owe us. You owe us. And a lot of you are modest. Your cultural DNA says, well, I'm not going to talk about it. Don't talk about it, but write it down. Leave something for your grandchildren so they can say, hey, the old man was a pretty good, pretty good dude. He went to, went to war, he served his country, whatever it may be, but leave something for the next generation. It is they who will inherit the earth. God bless you, thank you. Thank you, General. Our instructional leader places a great emphasis on patriotism and citizenship. Please welcome to the podium the superintendent of LISD schools, Dr. Marcus Nelson. Mr. Garza, Honorable Mayor, uh, General Valenzuela, your lovely wife, uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, we're honored by your presence. Uh, what a wonderful message. How about another round of applause for General <laughs> Valenzuela. Uh, I too am from the barrios of San Antonio, so to speak, and uh, I understand uh, the importance it is to instill pride and country in our curriculum each day. Uh, as the superintendent of schools in this beloved city, I've had the opportunity to work very closely with our local veterans. Uh, most of the people that I see sitting here before us today, I'm proud to say uh, they're friends of mine. And they have taught me uh, something about giving back to your local community. Uh, my good friend, uh, Mr. Lopez, uh, he has taught me about many of the serious issues facing veterans today and really uh, pricked my heart and soul of how we as a country must do better in recognizing and remembering and really taking care of a group of men and women who have so valiantly served our country. I did not know a lot of the issues with homelessness and other issues uh, that as an American, I can't help but feel we must do better uh, for a group of men and women who I know uh, are just so honorable. 
Uh, I'm proud to be here at Memorial Middle School, be part of a school district that in this very building is just a small glimpse of our appreciation uh, for everything that is honoring uh, veterans in our country. You know, I, it's a personal situation for me. Our chief of staff, who also happens to, will be serving as the interim superintendent, uh, her husband is currently serving. And I've had an opportunity to learn more about Fort Hood and Colleen and all the things that are going on right now here today uh, because of Lieutenant Colonel David Damitis, who is here today. I'd like to give him a round of applause. <clears throat> We've also had an opportunity to know uh, countless numbers of employees who have served. Uh, one, the, one of the administrative assistants in my office, her name is Mary Gomez, uh, her son, uh, I've actually signed off on paperwork while he takes a leave of absence from his job as a member of our police department uh, to go and serve. I'd like to recognize him as well, Sergeant Humberto Frausto. <clears throat> and the list goes on and on of, of how I happen to interact and engage with our local veteran community. I'd like to thank our Department of Communications under the direction of our lovely executive director, Mrs. Veronica Castillon, for paying attention to details. Also, the principal of this school, Mrs. Sandra Garcia and her team uh, for, for perpetuating this annual tradition uh, into future generations. You can know that on the Friday before Memorial Day at 9 o'clock a.m. in this gym, there will always be a moment where we stop and recognize our men and women who have served, and especially those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. I'm proud to serve in a school district that has board members like Trustee Rick Garza, whose wife is also a veteran. And we just want to thank all of our veterans in this community for your service, for your time, for your effort in the community today. And we honor all of you who are living, and especially those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Dr. Nelson. At this time, I'd also like to invite the Honorable Rick Garza to join us at the podium to say a couple of words. Good morning, students. Today is a day, and, and I'm speaking mostly to the students right now because uh, uh, we, need to, we need to carry that torch forward. We need to make sure that you all do not forget why you're here today. This school bears the name of Memorial School for a reason, and through no fault of your own, you're here to go to school, but you have to understand the meaning of why it's called Memorial Middle School. And for that, uh, we do this every year so that you won't forget the sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice that some soldiers had to do in order to keep those freedoms alive. You've all heard the saying that freedom is not free. Some people paid the ultimate sacrifice so that all of us can enjoy the freedoms that we have here on a daily basis. Some of the things that we find ourselves doing that in most countries are not allowed. And so you have to understand that having this celebration here today or this honor honoring our veterans today is that we don't forget what they went through and what their families went through. For each one of these persons that is up here, you have to understand that there's a whole family behind them that also sacrificed. And there's some of them that didn't come back that their families sacrificed a little bit more. So I'm asking you all to never stop forgetting of why you're here. And understand that sometimes we hear in the news or on TV, and we might not like everything that we'd like to hear, but we have to understand that we live in a country that where freedom of speech is very important. Because if we don't get to hear the whole truth, we don't get to understand what the ultimate sacrifice was all about. 
So on this day and on Monday, it's just not a day off. And for some adults, it's just not about a mattress sale and, a, and, and car dealership sales that are going on. It's like uh, Mr. Valenzuela said, you need to stop and take a moment to understand why we have the freedoms that we have. So with that, I'd like to thank you all for being here today on behalf of the LISD board. And thank you all so much for your service. And students, one of the most important things you'll take from here today and for the rest of your life, is it doesn't take you that much effort that every time that you see a veteran, go shake their hand and tell them, thank you for your service. Gentlemen, thank you for your service. Thank you, Mr. Garza. And now I invite Memorial Middle School students, Noah Rivera, Eileen Arriaga, Juan Marines, and Katrina Haynes to conduct the formal roll call of our prisoners of war Missing in Action Remembrance and Fallen Heroes. Answering for our fallen heroes are members of the LISD Police Department. World War II, Pascual de Leon. Present, sir. Trinidad J. Diaz. Present, sir. Faustino Garza. Present, sir. Guadalupe H. Garza. Present, sir. Jesús D. Garza. Present, sir. Vicente Garza Jr. Present, sir. Blas Antonio Hill. Triunfo Gil. Arturo González. Bernardo M. González. Ernesto González. Fulgencio R. González. Cadier Héctor González. Juan González. Manuel P. González. Pedro González. Julián Granados. Present, sir. Frank E. Grinsney. Present, sir. Luis V. Guerra. Present, sir. Luis Guerra. Present, sir. Margarito J. Guerrero. Present, sir. No B. Guevara. Present, sir. Carlos P. Gus. Present, sir. Santiago R. Gutierrez. Present, sir. Edward F. Haynes. Florentino B. Hernández. Present, sir. Salvador T. Hernández. Present, sir. Santiago Hernández. Present, sir. Joe Kirkpatrick. Present, sir. Mario Leal. Present, sir. Thomas R. Lee. Present, sir. Antonio Lerma Jr. Present, sir. Federico C. Linares. Philip D. Listening. Everardo Lopez. Present, sir. Enrique Luna Jr. Present, sir. Fred Luna. Present, sir. George T. Mayer. Present, sir. A. J. Mann. Present, sir. Peter Marinos. Present, sir. Cruz L. Marquez. Present, sir. Alberto Martinez. Alejo Martínez. Present, sir. Antonio Martínez. Present, sir. Francisco Martínez. Present, sir. Julio Martínez. Present, sir. Jesús U. Martínez. Present, sir. Victor P. Martínez. Present, sir. Salvador Mascorro. Present, sir. Harold L. McFarlane. Present, sir. Jerónimo Mendoza. Domingo Mendoza. Present, sir. Enrique Mendoza. Present, sir. 
Héctor S. Molina. Ernesto Montoya. Francisco R. Mora. Ross M. Morales. Jesús Moreno. Robert F. Monk. José M. Muñoz. Raulita Murphy. Joseph Neo Naranjo. Baltasar Portales Nieto. Fred G. Ochoa. Horacio J. Palacios. Sócrates S. Papas. Manuel G. Pedrosa. Ignacio Peña. José M. Peña. Patricio Peña. Waldo L. Peña. Pedro L. Pérez. Simón R. Pérez. Delmar D. Pola. Joaquín Ponce. Luis Poster. Juan G. Quintero. Francisco S. Ramírez. Calvin Earl Randolph. Charles E. Randolph. Jesús Rentería. Domingo Reyes. Alejandro Reina. Lauro Uribe. Jerónimo Rodríguez Jr. Ramiro Rodríguez. Simón Rodolfo. Domingo Sainz. Alfredo Sánchez. Santiago Sánchez Jr. Manuel Sandoval. Thomas Q. Scott. Leslie Skaggs. Kirby J. Smith Sr. Valente J. Solis. Marion Random Tarvin Jr. Ricardo S. Ordiales. Cipriano S. Baca. Luis Bons. Jose W. Vasquez Jr. Robert Pope. Hinton B. Wright. Ricardo Cez. Trinidad P. Ramirez. José C. Ramón. Pedro V. Ramos. Joe J. Hogan. Martín Jaime. Gilberto M. Juárez. Antonio Picasa Mercado. Constantin Mims Jr. World War I. Maurice Acabas. President, sir. George Bigden. President, sir. Adam Bold. President, sir. Moises Cajero. President, sir. Jack Cariou. President, sir. Alfred J. Cosonio. President, sir. Leonard Diaz. President, sir. Louis F. Folsom. Francisco Garcia. Benjamin Hasing. William H. Lake. Miles Little. Edmundo Lopez. Luke W. Loftus. Lorenzo Rendon. J.P. Rossi. Gustin K. Smith. Dewey Tillman, President, sir. Percy R. Winch, President, sir. Charles E. Woodle, President, sir. Jose Ibarra, President, sir. Jose Zamora, President, sir. David Barkley Cantu, recipient Medal of Honor, President, sir. World War II, Guillermo Abrego, 
John B. Alexander. Present, sir. Juan Alvarez. Present, sir. Enrique Ambrose. Present, sir. Joseph Roger Amparan. Present, sir. Jesus F. Ayla. Present, sir. Daniel Barea. Present, sir. Paul C. Bubien. Present, sir. Benigno Benavides, Jr. Edward C. Bubel. Present, sir. Andrew Brubaker. Present, sir. Celso Cavazos. Present, sir. Rodolfo Cavazos. Present, sir. Jesus Chapa Badillo. Present, sir. Angeles Cisneros. Present, sir. Robert F. Clark. Present, sir. John C. Conley. Joaquin Cortez. Present, sir. Frank P. Daltrey, Jr. Present, sir. Eduardo Davila. Present, sir. Luis Degollado. Present, sir. Edward D. De La Chica. Present, sir. Cristobal De La Garza. Present, sir. Jose De La Paz. Present, sir. World War II. Alfonso Adel Barrio. Present, sir. Jesus Dimas. Present, sir. Emel Henry Dio. Present, sir. Kyle N. Drake. Present, sir. Manuel Escamilla, Jr. Present, sir. Guatemoc P. Escobedo. Present, sir. Luis Estrada. Present, sir. Alfonso R. Flores. Alfredo Flores. Present, sir. Candelario Flores. Present, sir. Gilberto Flores. Present, sir. Reyes Flores, Jr. Present, sir. Socorro Flores. Present, sir. Jose Gallegos. Present, sir. Conra Conrado Gamboa. Present, sir. George Gaona. Alfredo Garcia. Present, sir. Conrado Garcia. Present, sir. Erasmo Garcia. Present, sir. Esteban Garcia, Jr. Present, sir. Jose Garcia, Jr. Present, sir. Pablo Garcia. Present, sir. Reynaldo Garcia. Present, sir. Thomas Garcia. Amadio R. Garza. Present, sir. Jose C. De Leon. Present, sir. Korean Conflict. Mariano Arredondo. Present, sir. Xavier H. Ayala. Present, sir. Alfredo Cantú. Present, sir. Ricardo Castro, Jr. Joseph M. Castro. Present, sir. Lonnie B. Flowers. Present, sir. Paz Fraustro. Present, sir. Humberto Garza. Present, sir. Oscar Gonzalez. Present, sir. Jose Roberto Gutierrez. Present, sir. Lucio J. Gutierrez. Present, sir. Gustavo Hernandez. Present, sir. Francisco H. Izquierdo. Present, sir. Amado Leal. Present, sir. Quentin Maravillo. Present, sir. Romero M. Martinez. Present, sir. Jesus Mendiola. Present, sir. Oscar M. Morales. Present, sir. Arnoldo V. Reina. Present, sir. Alfredo Sanchez. Present, sir. Jose Sanchez. Present, sir. Cayetano Sosa. Present, sir. Missing in action. Crescencio Garcia, Jr. Present, sir. Ruben Garza. Present, sir. Paul H. Gloria. Present, sir. Herschel H. Russell, Jr. Present, sir. Alfredo T. Treviño. Present, sir. Julio Villarreal. Present, sir. Vinton Ward. John Adam Lavera. Present, sir. 
Florentino Cantu Jr. Present, sir. Juan Carillo. Present, sir. Pedro J. Calillo. Present, sir. Dieter W. Dietz. Present, sir. Juan Flores. Present, sir. Everardo Galindo Jr. Present, sir. Alejandro Garcia Jr. Present, sir. Antonio Garcia. Present, sir. Heriberto A. Garcia. Present, sir. Jose Salustrano Garza. Present, sir. Juan, Gon Juan Jose Gonzalez. Present, sir. Rodolfo G. Gonzalez. Present, sir. Steven Hernandez. Present, sir. Armando Leal Jr. Present, sir. Nathan James Mann. Present, sir. Guadalupe Martinez. Present, sir. Juan Andres Martinez. Present, sir. Fidel Padilla. Present, sir. Homero Perez. Present, sir. William Vaughn Billy Reed. Present, sir. Arturo Salazar. Present, sir. Javier Arturo Sanchez. Present, sir. Jose C. Santos. Present, sir. Jorge Sosa. Present, sir. Ignacio Torres Jr. Present, sir. Reinaldo Torres Jr. Present, sir. Raul Villa. Present, sir. Desert Storm. Edward Sheffield. Present, sir. Luis Delgado. Present, sir. Iraqi Freedom. Michael Raul Barrera. Present, sir. Jose Rodrigo Rodriguez. Present, sir. Roberto Arizola Jr. Milton Locklear the third. As you enter the Memorial Middle School Gymnasium this morning, you may have noticed this small table, a place of honor. It is set for one. This table is our way symbolizing the fact that members of our armed forces are missing from our midges. They are commonly called POWs or NIAs. We call them brothers. They're unable to be with us this morning, and so remember them. This table set for one is small, symbolizing the frailty of one prisoner against his opposers. Remember, the tablecloth is white, symbolizing the purity of their intentions to respond to the country's call and arm. Remember, the single red rose displayed in the vase reminds of the families and loved ones of our comrades in arms who kept the fate waiting for the return. Remember, the red ribbon tried so permanently on the vase is reminiscent of the red ribbon worn upon the lap and breast of thousands who bear witness to their unyielding determination and demand a proper account of our missing. Remember, the candle, the candle is lit, symbolizing the upward reach of our of their comparable spirit, remember. A slice of lemon is on a breaded plate to remind us of a bitter fate, remember. There is salt upon the bread plate, symbolic of the family's tears as they wait, remember. Glass is inverted. They cannot toast with us this morning. Remember. The chair. The chair is empty. They are not here. Remember. Remember, all of you who serve with them and call them comrades, who depend upon their might and aid and relied upon, and relied upon them, for surely they have not forsaken you. Remember. Remember until the day they come home. Remember. Thank you, students. And now we invite uh, our board member, the Honorable Mr. Garza, the Honorable Mr. Sainz, Dr. Nelson, General Valenzuela, and Ms. Garcia to assist in presenting a wreath of flowers in memory of our fallen heroes.
military protocol calls for a 21-gun salute, which will be conducted by the Webb County Sheriff's Department and the combined law enforcement directed by Border Patrol agent Ricardo Rios. Taps will be played by our trumpet players from Memorial Middle School, along with two additional numbers by the Memorial Middle School band. Thank you. Can I mention something real quick?
I apologize, I apologize for coming back over here, but I failed to mention something just as important, probably more important. I wouldn't be able to forgive myself if I didn't say it, and I'd be in worse trouble if my wife found out. But ladies of the armed forces, lady, I forgot to mention you. I said, gentlemen, thank you for your service, but I failed to say, ladies, thank you for your service. I'd like to call upon Memorial Middle School student Isabella Trevino to close with a benediction followed by the retirement of colors by the LISD Police Department Color Guard. May the truth that makes us free, the hope that never dies, and the love that casts out fear lead us forward together till the day spring breaks and the shadows flee away. May the peace of God that passes all understanding, that peace which the world can neither give nor take away, abide with us to bless us this day and forevermore. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Right turn. March. Present. Arms. Order. Arms. Prepare to retreat. Retreat. Color. Left turn. March. Thank you, Isabella, and thank you to our LISD uh, Color Guard for assisting in that. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us this morning. It is truly an honor to have you visiting our school. This does conclude our ceremony. I now invite you to our reception. Uh, again, one last time, on behalf of Memorial Middle School and LISD, we do thank all our distinguished guests for being with us today. But most importantly, we do thank you all for the ultimate sacrifice that you have given so that we can remain free. Thank you. <laughs>